Do you feel like you can never do anything? Are you easily overwhelmed? Do you have chronic pain? Do you have issues sleeping? Well, congratulations. You're not the problem. Your nervous system is. So I started to learn about nervous system regulation a couple of months ago when I basically fell into a deep depression. I've talked about it in these two videos, my previous two. And my therapist was the one who basically said, it sounds like from what you're telling me, you have a dysregulated nervous system. And I had no idea what that meant at the time. But essentially I fell into this depressive free state because my body was under so much chronic stress for so long that it eventually just started to collapse. I mean. This depressive episode was so bad that I couldn't even go on my phone. <laughs> and if you're in free state, you can go on your phone for so long and just be frozen, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But I was so burnt out with life and the world that I just laid in bed and didn't feel anything. I didn't even have a will to get that. I literally want to die, die, death over. I do not know how to live in life. I do not know how to live in life. Live in life. You should take defeat personally, period. Depression is one example of having a dysregulated nervous system. What I experienced is essentially what happens when this has been going on for too long. And then the stage after that is you start to develop illnesses. Prior to that, I described to my therapist that I was perpetually in this state where I just couldn't push myself to do things. And I used to be someone that was incredibly proactive. I loved to work actually. And like anything on my to-do list, I would get it done. But I got to a point where I just couldn't do it no matter how hard I pushed. When I was in crowds, I would dissociate and I would feel like I'm not in my body. I would have poor concentration. Yeah, I was frozen a lot of the time. That all points towards a dysregulated nervous system. Now, when she told me about this, I actually felt so incredibly relieved because you can actually heal this. I thought there were just other issues with me and I didn't know where to begin with fixing this, but you can fix your dysregulated nervous system. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but we can get you there. Okay, class, we're gonna go over the nervous system right now using the polyvagal approach. So, how does one's nervous system actually become dysregulated? It's from chronic stress, trauma, even if it's not extreme trauma, it can be little traumatic events that have happened throughout your life that you don't think have a significant impact, but actually do have a significant impact. Constant exposure to technology, an overwhelming workload, environmental factors, lifestyle factors, the list can go on. Basically, <laughs> we all have a dysregulated nervous system. When our autonomic nervous system senses danger that it can't fight, it shuts down in order to protect us. Now imagine if our autonomic nervous system has been sensing danger for long periods of time. That completely messes up our entire system and it's not functioning normally. And it's not just for survival, it does this to help us navigate the world. But then what happens when it's not functioning normally? All of the symptoms I described before, and additionally, you might even turn to vices in order to cope. Vices being drugs, alcohol, sex, any coping mechanisms. When our autonomic nervous system is not functioning normally, our risk of mortality and illness goes up by so much. Studies have actually shown that adults with six or more childhood traumas are 20% more likely to die early because their autonomic nervous system is so fucked up that it just can't function to keep them healthy. If your nervous system does not get regulated, it leads to physical conditions and also emotional and mental conditions. There are so many illnesses which we cannot explain, but a lot of it is linked to stress and our nervous system. You might develop digestive disorders, autoimmune conditions, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, migraines, and on an emotional level, anxiety, depression, addiction, PTSD, CPTSD, and also challenging relationships. So it's really important that we get a grip on this 
and heal ourselves. The number one thing my therapist actually taught me was that you need to learn to feel safe in your own body. Definitely, maybe you're literally in an unsafe environment. You need to try to remove yourself from that safe environment so you can heal because you cannot heal in an environment that made you sick to begin with. Children and babies are really good at regulating their nervous system because they actually have connection to their body and they listen to what their body wants. So do you remember as a child, maybe you would literally like flap your arms around and like you just swing them and you make all these movements when you're feeling like stuck or bad because children are so connected that they know they need to make these movements. If you're stuck in freeze response, you should not meditate, you should not sit still, you should not go on your phone, you should literally get up, go swing your arms, move. Uh, and it feels weird, right? But you'll feel so good afterwards because you're releasing everything. My therapist helped me develop this connection to my body more and when I started to notice these feelings of like just feeling depressed or stuck, I started to think, what do I want? And sometimes it is like doing these random movements. Other times I would actually just dance or I would karaoke. <laughs> I belt out some Adele. No, literally, just go do some karaoke. It will help. You will feel more unstuck after. If you lean into the freeze response and you just go lie down and meditate, it actually just makes it worse. You need to get moving. I wanna teach you a breathing technique. And this is how babies breathe as well. So, inhale. Also credit to him for showing this technique. Inhale. I feel lucky. So we do one deep breath, an extra breath, and then we go down. I feel lockies. And then he said to add on to it bilateral stimulation. I can't click with my other hand. And clap. Okay. Stop looking at me. And this can really help quickly regulate your nervous system. Of course, it really is more than just doing simple things like that. That works more in the moment, but ultimately we need to make you feel safe. I do recommend therapy. This video is not even sponsored by BetterHelp, but I use BetterHelp. Full transparency, my first therapist was not good. And then I got another one and she's the one who taught me all of this. She helped program my thoughts to be better. And she helped me get out of that depression. So I really recommend therapy. And if you can't afford therapy, you can also use this AI called Pi. I don't think it replaces therapy. I used it when I was depressed before I got a therapist. It's great to talk to because it actually has empathy compared to ChatGPT. Like you can talk to it about emotional things. When you have bad thoughts coming up, you should just say stop. Or if you're religious, I surrender this thought to God. I surrender it to the universe. Like I give it up if you really struggle to release it. But whenever you start to fall back into a thought pattern that is causing you stress, stop. If you start to overthink, stop. Just yell it out. Get off your phone, obviously. I find I tend to fall into free state when I'm on my phone. And in fact, being on my phone and just existing online as a YouTuber for so many years, literally looking at a camera looking at a computer screen looking at my phone for more than i'm looking at the real world has made me incredibly dissociated to the point where if i'm working for so many days and i don't leave my apartment when i go into the real world i'm not there i'm dissociated i actually i can't say anything i can't say anything so these practices have helped me get out of this state and it will help you too if you have trauma which we all do and we all have some level of trauma because no one's parents are perfect. And even if your parents are perfect, you likely would have got some trauma from somewhere else in your life. Everyone has some element of trauma, like literally no one is perfect. And it doesn't mean you are broken or you need to heal. It just means acknowledge that you have these things and try to work on it. I was having this conversation with my friend yesterday and she said, if you have a healthy mindset, maybe ignorance is bliss. And I completely disagreed because you can have a healthy mindset, but if you are ignoring all of your issues, you know what will happen? It will come out inevitably, whether it's 
tomorrow or in 10 years or 50 years it's going to come out you're going to experience the ramifications and it will impact everyone around you so work on yourself when i went through this depressive period it literally felt like the worst storm i had ever been in and then i came out and it was like sunshine i feel like i radically transformed and i just had ultimate clarity in my life and i got all these download sorry if you're not into the woo-woo stuff you have to go through the clouds so you can come out on the other side with the sun bars so your therapist can probably talk to you more about what techniques would be good for you one of them that my therapist recommended to me was edmr eye movement desensitization and reprocessing also strangely acting and like theater being like a different character has also been shown to help nervous system regulation and healing trauma. Yoga has also been shown to be super helpful versus taking pills and, and psychedelics of course but if you do choose to go down that route it would be in your best interest to get a teacher to help guide you so you also get the most out of it. Clearly I like the colour pink. I actually I'm not quite sure how this happened. Usually I have great taste in furniture but I don't know how this turned out to be all pink. Anyways guys if you feel like shit there is hope for you you can get out of it. You know why? Because I came out of it. And it feels like when you come out of it, the world opens up to you. <laughs> and you feel amazing. Maybe I am lying. It's not all here. It is your nervous system. And nervous system dysregulation is so common. I would be surprised if someone didn't have it, honestly. So don't worry guys, you can get over it. Bye. Fear fun, fear love, the shadow for forever. Do the for you. Norman Rockwell. No, I'm under it's just me and you. I got to see on my list. <laughs> 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 You're in the night, I like the fire, and as the summer fades away, nothing more can say. You write I tour, we make it work You're beautiful and I'm insane We're American made Give me Hallmark One drink on a one lover Make me happy and blue Norman Rockwell No high under <laughs> loud company, is that right? Mm, it's just yeah. me and you Oh God, is you on my list? It's me, a little kind of speech On the street with the neighborhood kids Selling off they make it You're in the yard I like the fire As the sun fades away Nothing I can say You write I do a wing with you work American made Oh yeah Oh yeah Selling off bang bang kids kids Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Selling off bang bang kids kids Oh God, I miss you on my lips It's me, a little kind of speech on the soup with the neighborhood kids, sound off bang bang kiss kiss. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Sound off bang bang kiss kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Me and myself, I like diamonds, better than Santa Clover. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. If you are mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you are mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you are mine, I'd be jealous of your love.